The topic for today is what we call how to have a big network in three months or 90 days. Do you wish to have a big network in 90 days? It's simple. As long as you follow step by step like this. Vision. Dream. Goal. Name list. Invite. Presentation. Follow up. Protection. Closing. <laughs> Don't forget to do closing, okay? That is what I call basic steps. Very basic. Where do you have to start that basic? And no period word for that lesson. So don't you ever forget about this basic. Well, how to expand your network in three months and your business is booming? Well, first, at least you have 15 direct reverse, direct downlines, okay? You do understand direct river, direct downline? The person that learned about this business directly from you is called direct river. Okay, the second condition requirement. We learned the first condition before. 15 direct reverse. The second one, at least you have 10 deepness networks. And then the third, at least you have 150 downlines. Okay, in about 90 days. Equal like three months. Maybe someone will ask, what if I can achieve this condition in five years? Well, I'll say you already lost the momentum. When you reach three, four or five years, some of them is gone and we don't know where. And your enthusiasm may be already been disturbed. Why? Your check is not coming routinely. Your business must be not healthy if you do achieve that on five years. Is that clear? Even I'm telling you, if you do achieve this condition in one year only, your enthusiasm momentum is nothing than 90 days. Why is not five months or maybe one year? And so on. Why? You need momentum. The momentum is very much needed on networking business. When you already have that momentum, not easy for you to get down. Trust me. When you get that momentum, shh. Okay? What is the momentum? Maybe for an easiest example, we can take a car that slides down from the mountain. Not easy to intercept, I'm right? Okay? Before we start this session, someone asked me, Sir, it's very different for someone who got checked in one month than others who got checked in months. Can you tell which one is better? One month or need months to get a check? Ah. One month. It's different. How to make it happen? What do I have to do so that momentum can happen? Do you want to know? Yeah. Okay, you can write it down now. Soon get better on basic steps. The successful steps, basic steps. I told you before. What is the first one? Vision. 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 Dream. Dream. Goal. Goal. Okay? And then Dream. name list. Invite. Dream. Presentation. Dream. Follow up. Dream. Closing and protection. Dream. You do that all the time. You have to be good on that. Even not just memorize it, but you really do practice it, okay? Well, the second one is at least make a hundred name list. For you who wants to achieve this goal, your goal, you can set a new goal. And then you have to make another new name list. Make a new name list. Rearrange at least another hundred name list. Maybe from all name list, some of them you already called and it's been marked, it's called. Okay? This one is rejected, another one comes, rejected. There's some mess because not brave enough to call it. Do you have it? No! Some of them, on this line, call it or not, call it or not. <laughs> maybe later, maybe later. The name is on the list, doesn't touch at all. Do you have it? Yes! You have it. Yes. Move that name to the new name list. 
put him on the first line. Before you step into another name, call him first because you have to conquer that fear. Is that clear? Yeah. When you can conquer that fear and for the person that makes you too afraid to call it, that's the one you should call. Believe me, trust me. After that, it's easy for you. If you don't believe it, practice it. Because the person that makes you afraid, okay, is already been defeated. What's the worst thing? Rejected. Been rejected. Next. Am I right? Ah. Why should be afraid? Why did you pass some names? Why do I know? <laughs> Because I know from my own experience. <laughs> so don't you lie to me because I'm a networker. Okay, next step. The third one. Prepare one day to practice how to invite with an upline who active on this business. Why I suggest you to learn from the same system? Because on networking business, the way of work have to be done in the same way. Clear? Same way. That's why I suggest you to come to Active Online in the system. Okay? Learn how to invite effectively. Sometimes because some viewers can make the prospect will not come. Maybe you don't realize that those words make him won't come at all. You don't realize it. But if your upline is over there, you have some words but you don't use it. The specific words that we don't use it when we do invite them. But you did use it. Okay? I always avoid presentation word when doing invite. If you do invite a prospect and you say about presentation, what is on prospect's mind? Multi-level. Multi-level. Am I right? right? Okay? So avoid that. The easiest example is avoid using presentation word. Avoid word meeting. Is that clear? That kind of words. Get more details, you can sit with your experience upline. They know which words you have to avoid it and which one you can use it. Clear? Learn. Learn how to invite. Does skill can be improved? Yes! We can. If you improve your skill, the chance for your prospect to come is bigger. Even that is not a guarantee. Is that clear? Improve. Keep on practice. Okay? Next step. Prepare another one day only to practice presentation with your active upline. Once again, back to this system. Prepare another one day to practice presentation. Even I know it, the most effective presentation is you do the practice directly. But it's nothing wrong if you prepare one day only to practice your presentation. One-on-one -on -one practice your presentation because it's necessary. Every networker, if he can't do the presentation, don't you ever be a networker. If someone hope is getting worse just because your words, if it's joined, I'm telling you that it's not healthy. Why? Because the duplication is gonna be bad. Because he says the same words, let's get joined. It's good. He will give you income later. It's about passive income, okay? Okay, finally, everything is going to be stopped because they don't know how to do it. You have to do presentation, like or dislike, if you want to be succeed. Be brave to take it, okay? At least brave enough to do one-on-one. -on -one. Start with one-on-one. -on -one. And then home meeting. Finally, it will be better if you're brave enough to do big presentation because that will train your mentality. Don't do intensive training. But you can do the presentation one on one. For you who are afraid to do mistakes, just use a pillow with a picture with two eyes and nose and then do the presentation. Okay? I'm sure you will not nervous. Okay, next. The fifth one. The fifth is you do the home meeting at least two times in a week. Still remember the lessons before today? Last week, home meeting. Remember home meeting? Practice that home meeting at least twice a week, minimum. You can do it at your home or at your deepnesses or your downline home. At least twice a week. Do that regularly for three months and see what is the result. And do one-on-one -on -one at least three times in a week Use your uneffective time. Do it one-on-one. -on -one. 
What is the unattractive time? Lunch time. Next, the sixth one. Come in every big presentation. Once a week, get your upline doing and bring your prospect, including a new downline. For you who's listening CD or cassette, try to listening presentation in your cities. If you have it in your cities, try to come. If you have not, keep doing home meeting one-on-one. -on -one. Is that clear? Try to come if you have it. Why? Because the momentum is very good. And I've never met a networker that can be bigger without come to meeting routinely. Okay? And then why I taught you that you need to bring your new downline. Maybe you got him in one-on-one. -on -one. Okay? I always promoted one-on-one -on -one home meeting. I always promoted big meeting, which is I always do it every Wednesday in Jakarta. Am I right? I suggest them to come because I want them to see that this business is been doing by every kind of people. They can see by themselves. Okay, then next step. The seventh one. In a week, it means at least you have six times presentations. Right or right? Okay. Why six times? Home meeting two times. One on one three times. Plus what? A big presentation for another one. Right? It means you have six times presentations on that week. You can see what it's like, the impact. Okay? In a week, it means at least you have six times presentations. If you set goal, every time you invite five prospects, or you invite five persons to come to your meeting, what's gonna happen? Does the closing happen? Does someone join? By my experience on networking business, if you oftenly doing presentation, the chance for other people to join is getting bigger. Because it's like theory to play dice. Do you know dice? It has the same principle. No, 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 yes, we got one. No, 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 yes, you got one. No, 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 yes, you got one. No, 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 yes, you got one. Am I right? Okay? Don't expect yes, 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 yes. No, you failed one. Trust me, that's not gonna happen. I don't know if that can happen. We don't need to be in this room. Am I right? That's why we need the training. How to handle the no, 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 no. So finally, he says, yes. Do you feel the victory then? Do you feel satisfied? Yes, am I right? Even one day you invite, especially, I told you it's not every day, but it happens in a week, right? Even I don't told you to invite five persons every day, okay? That is in a week, okay? Who works at insurance? Will you be honest with me? You've been asked to prospect by phone for someone. How many people they ask you to call every day? 10 to 20 people. Imagine when they call 10 to 20, 20 people. Let's say 10 people. Okay, 50% discount. <laughs> 10 people every day. Start from what day? Friday. Monday to Friday. Friday. How many that they call? Friday. I'd like to ask you now. Don't feel offended, okay? Whose empire that you built? No, 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 no. In this one, in this one. When you call 50 people, whose empire that you built? Boss. 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 You built your own business empire or you built others' empire? Other empire. Sometimes it makes me wondering. He called 50 people every week to build other people's empire. But he will do it. Okay? In here, you just invite five people to build his own business empire. He cries. Sometimes we are to whine. If we want to be succeed, sometimes we have to experience the hard times. Growing in pains. Growing in pains. Do you need to be pain so you will fight? Huh? Maybe too comfortable. You have everything in your house. Next. Prepare special day. Just prepare special day. Practice to do the follow-up. With... An active upline, minimum, minimum. 
But the idyllic is not enough for one day. You have to do it many times. If you have an upline doing the follow-up, ask him permission to join in. You learn. But you come as a student. Watch yourself. Don't you do it when you're upline doing the follow-up, but you're the one that gave him lesson. It's not like that, sir. This one is the right one. You are the teacher for your upline and you are the one that needs to learn. If you want to learn, come as a student. Don't keep talking with your upline, okay? It happens. I've been there before. After all these years on networking, I have experienced so many strange things. Sometimes when I brought a student, he is clever than me. So I was just silence, okay? If you come to learn, you need to be modest. Shut your mouth and follow every lesson from your upline. Keep on writing, on writing, and on writing. Okay, next. The main step. After you are good on follow-up technique, your next task is to teach your student or your downline. Even you have to take over the follow-up task for your downline, new downline in this business. Let's say, for the example, I always saw an upline who helped his upline unfinished. He didn't help him a hundred percent. He just helped for the presentation only. Have you ever experienced as an upline or downline being treated like that? Both even experience that kind of things. Don't you awfully? Like this, for example, you are here and you have a new downline, let's say A, a new one in this business, a new one in this business, okay? Sometimes he did one-on-one -on -one or even home meeting or in a big presentation, he takes his prospect. Let's say the simple one, maybe one-on-one. -on -one. When you do help A for one-on-one -on -one to B, remember A is a new one. After presentation is done and you leave him, or maybe you talk to B, B, we'll meet again in two days. Make appointment with B, or you will let A that make appointment. What's your own experience? A is making the appointment. It's not over yet. Remember, if you had a new downline fresh from the oven, he doesn't understand how to do the follow-up. What happened next is your effort is nothing. The right way to do the follow-up is never asking people they want to join or not. Well, you have to help B till finish. Is that clear? You do the follow-up. Don't let A doing that because A is a new one. I want to ask you if you already have A, is that enough for you or you want the deepness from A? Yes. The deepness. If you want the deepness, whose task is that? You. So don't let A doing that task as well as in home meeting. Now, next step. Select some of your downline who is teachable and work together with them. The meaning of teachable is, they will do it. Learn and modesty. They will follow your instruction. That's what we call feasible. Don't you cooperate with the downline when you say A, but he say B. If you say B, he says C. You say C, he says D. He tries to teach you. That means he's not teachable. Clear? Cooperate with the right person, okay? Well, I told you before, cooperation with teachable downline. That means you have to cooperate with the right person. You just can't do it with an ego. Just because close with A, you have emotional thing with A, okay? You cooperate only with A all the times. In the meantime, B may be more serious for this business, but maybe you and B not emotional close enough. I want to ask you, you want to do the business or social? Business and social, right? But if you're really doing the business, where's your focus? Business first, am I right? From business, then doing the social things. That's all, next. The 11th point, keep bringing your students in your learning process, even in teaching process. Even in home meeting, one-on-one. 
follow up or another learning process don't you do it every time you come to learning process you come alone if you keep on coming alone that means something wrong always bring your students the 12th you have to cover your deficiency or your weakness in this business by creating your group to be heterogen what is the meaning of heterogen if homogen is same kind am i right yes. what about heterogen every kind of people am i right yes. a good networking have young people fathers uncles aunties entrepreneurs and maybe some uh, staffs housewives maybe the point is every kind of people if your group only have one kind of people it's homogen yes it's homogen i'm telling you that's not healthy okay what's the point is now the 13th treat your deepness downline like your own direct downline because there's no difference sometimes i saw my deepness network even out of the city so far away maybe i have a few thousand deepness when i saw him serious and he wants to learn i will help him i support him is that clear well okay yes. the 14th get civilized for edification not cross-lining and consultation so don't get theory only edification is like this <laughs> consultation is we can ask something i'm telling you consultation is important includes practice edification not by lip service only you have to do the edification sincerely don't do it differently if you have no sincere it's better don't do edification but if you want to succeed you have to do that not cross lining do it good and practice it not theory only remember okay monkey see monkey do. do they will follow don't you think that they don't see what you're doing when you do the cross lining he do cross lining too down below okay what point now 15th to keep your momentum so you have to read books minimum 15 minutes per day gun says tenly don't you expect the maximum result if you're not consistent read one time or when the mood is okay you keep on reading a book well i'm not in the mood maybe later put the book and never read book for a year okay gone with the wind consistent momentum is very important before we start this session one of the leader come when we're on conversation on the back one of his downline because it's long enough when he's going to america he feels comfortable there maybe don't do presentation or anything else okay even he don't read books because he feels so comfortable his momentum is gone when he's back to indonesia he's not active anymore in this business why he's lost his momentum if you'd like to have momentum in this business do it every day it has related with his business you do that business every day if when you don't have appointment for home meeting one-on-one -on -one or follow-up for the worst you read a book that's what i do for my career as a networker if i don't have appointment for home meeting one-on-one -on -one or follow-up i will feel nervous who has experience like that feeling itchy your body am i right well my suggestion if you don't have it at least you can take the book read the book that is a strategy so you can keep your momentum on the right position if i want to tell you if the cd and vcd is being prepared bring workmen everywhere you go it's true this is what i do for my career as a networker i do it in flight in my car 
Okay? And listening everywhere? Everywhere. Because repeating is? Learning. I'm asking you again. Repeating learning. is? Learning. Even for this intensive training matter, if you really have it good and maximum, you learn this kind of training. Even you have come to this place, I told you it's better for you to have the cassette and the CDs. And then you keep watching the film every day and listen it at least one time for a day for one cassette. This is a secret how to achieve your momentum. And your repeating is? Learning. Repeating is? Learning. Learning. If when I tell you it's not enough for you to hear it for one time, do you know how many times I heard this kind of matter? Uncounted. Well, it's true. Listen it every time. If you listen to the cassettes, at least you keep hear it until 20 times if you need to. And that's not enough. Because you need the momentum. Well, keep repeating. Until I taught you that's the right one. Until you memorize it even for the dots. From here, we learn about repeating is? Learning. learning. Repeating is learning. learning. Okay? Next step. What point now? 16. If you have a step to take, but you feel doubt about that, my suggestion, pick up your phone, do the consultation. We don't apply more senior than you. Sometimes we don't know, is this right or not? Sometimes you don't understand, is this duplicable or not? It can duplicate or not. For you who feels doubt like that, it's better you call your senior. So don't make a conclusion only by your opinion. I'm telling you, networking is something different. Networking is really unique, interesting, very interesting. More I learn about the networking and more I love, more I understand about this and more I don't understand. It's true. I can't understand if some people dare to say, for networking, I'm the expert, sir. The expert. Ho oh. ho. No one needs to say he's an expert. People can judge him is an expert or not. For every his achievement, people can judge. Is he qualified enough or not? Right or right? What point now? 17. Duplicate this way of work to your active downline. Why do I say duplicate to your active downline? Because do you still remember what I said? You have to cooperate with the right person. Don't you practice all of this to a not serious person? That kind of person you push to the home meeting. Okay? Please come to the meeting. Please come to the meeting. Just can't do that. Okay? Find the serious one and active. You can find out the type of serious person in this business. They ask so much. They want to know so many things and don't complain all the time. You ask for training, he says, he will come for anything, even for intensive training, he comes. Even from out of the city, he takes a flight and comes here to learn. That is the type of serious person. They are very teachable. When you say, I found a very good book, he will say, where did you buy it? Where did you buy it? Used to be like that. But that's the type. The type for serious person in your networking. Don't push yourself for people who do not prepare to success. I don't say that he is a loser, but maybe he's not ready to success. I don't believe if there's a loser in networking business. I just believe that they're not serious yet. I just believe that they don't start too serious yet. I just believe that they don't understand it. If he doesn't understand, your job is to make him understand. Okay? But remember, about the insurance before, my job is for people who say no, 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 to make him say yes. So for your prospect to join, you make the answer no to be yes. If when I tell you, do the follow-up again. I put underline here, be careful for this. You have to do the follow-up again with your downline who has ID numbers for this business or for the right words. You have to do the follow-up for your downline who has already joined in this business. For me, if there's a person who's not serious yet in this business, 
I have to do the follow-up again. Why? Because he doesn't understand much enough. What is the proof of that? It looks by his attitude. It looks by his action. Come to the presentation. Only if he likes to. Success people not moody type. Success people is consistent. And what is success people doing? Success people can control his emotion. They can control their emotions. Next step now. Keep doing it consistently until you can get the momentum. If you had achieved momentum in this business, so your business will boom and expand like snowball. You know snowball, right? Snowball in the top, the ball still small. Getting down and it becomes bigger, 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 bigger. If you pay attention, if you are the snowball like this, if this is a mountain, okay, which just has no rain, it makes snowball, okay? And this is you. If your network is like that, getting bigger down there, what's gonna happen? What is gonna happen? Passive income. Passive income. income. Momentum is something when you achieve it, not easy for you to stop it. If I can do illustrate, before you get the momentum, maybe you have to do hard work. It's like you push the car up to the mountain. You push the car to the top. Do you choose to stop? No. I know at the time you have to push. Try to climb it. If you really found a condition like this, don't stop. You should step the gas and push harder. Push harder, push harder, push harder, and so on. There's the time for it to reach the top, the momentum. When momentum is coming, how do you feel it? Passive income. But you have to pay the price for that. Pay the price. Nothing is free. Pay the price. And practice it. I'm telling you, what you have to do today. Three months to boom your business is not a theory. If you pay attention, try to repeat from the first point. What's the first point? Well, basic step. Be good on basic step, okay? Yeah. Basic step. Basic step is, what is basic step for you? Follow up. Okay, vision, goal, dream, make a name list. What is that? That's only a habit. Am I right? Maybe it's not a habit for you to make a dream. You'll say, make a dream? Impossible. After working for 20 years, are you kidding me? Even my home is not done yet. What kind of dream is that, huh? Telling me. Yeah. He doesn't believe it. Because his old habit never done a goal at all. Never make a dream. Only change your direction. Listen to me very well. Even if you are working for 20 years, nothing happened. Change your direction. Hello? Change your direction. Long time ago, maybe you never made a dream. But if today, you've been asked to make a dream, be modest. Just follow it. Am I right? The second one, what's that? Make a name list. That's a new habit too. Am I right? Maybe in your life, you never make a name list. Maybe you did two only once in your life when you do married. Am I right? Why don't you make it as a new habit? Habit! That's all habit! Am I right? A new habit for you. And that becomes a new habit for you. Okay, what's the next one? Prepare one special day for... Practice to... Invite! For you who never do invite people, usually you've been invited. 
try to invite a new habit. Right or right? Okay, next. What's the fourth step? Prepare one day to do the presentation. Maybe in your whole life you never do the presentation. You used to see presentation in the office. Or maybe in your business, now you have to do the presentation. Maybe that can become a new habit. Am I right? Okay, next. What is the fifth? Make a home meeting at least two times a week. And then one on one, three times in a week. Come to the presentation once in a week. Maybe that will become a new experience for you. Maybe in your whole life you never come to the presentation. Maybe you never come to home meeting yet. Now you're doing the new things. It's a new things. You see something weird on this? You see something hard on this? It's just a habit. Am I right? What else? The seven one. In a week, you have six times. Okay? Presentation is habit too. Okay. The eighth one. Prepare one special day to practice the follow-up. There is a new habit. Maybe it's not a habit for you to become a student. Usually at the office, at home, or anywhere else, you are the teacher. Now become a student. It feels not comfortable. It's true, uncomfortable. But if you're modest, you will comfortable. The ninth, what is it? <laughs> Capable to follow up technique. That is a new thing for you. Is that right? The tenth, select how many your downlines that are teachable. Maybe you don't have a habit that you used to cooperate with other people. Now you got a new experience. Try to cooperate with other people. Maybe it's not comfortable for you at the beginning. But to be successful in this business, you have no other way. Just do it, do it, do it, do it. Learn as a teamwork. Learn to like the person that you don't like. Hello. Do you want to know about that secret? Love. It's true. I did practice it in my life. With this love, you can forgive for other people's mistakes. Yeah. Honest. Great. I experience it with love. I say it again, with love. If you see it from the side that you love him, start to understand him. Get position your shoes. Your foot get into his shoes. Why does his attitude like that to you? Start to understand his feelings. When you start to understand him, you will never feel hard feeling with him. Trust me. Because of love. love. Next. Where are we? The 11th one. Always, 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 bring students. Students. always bring students. Maybe it's not a habit for you to guide other people. Now you have to be a guide. A new habit. Am I right? right. The 12th one. Get get along with with people. People. It's one of the skills. Try to get along with different people. Right or right? right? Maybe you just like some groups only. If you want to be successful, no other way. Get along with anybody. If you want to get success, don't be picky. It's true. I have an addict friend. I keep friendly to them. I have a friend who is a killer and robber. I have it. I did get along with them. It's true. I did get along with people who are smart, stupid, or anything else. I did get along with them. Why make a limit? Hello? But there's a way for that. How you control it. You can be friends with anybody without getting negative impact if you know how to control it. Where you can find the answers? <laughs> <laughs> what now? The third thing. Treat your deepness downline again. <laughs> okay. Learn to feel comfort with other people. Am I right? right? Don't try to feel comfort with the same people. With the same people, with the same people. Start to learn. With people that don't use cooperate with you. Cooperative with someone that is not familiar to you. That is a new habit too. Don't get too exclusive for some groups only. If you want to be successful. Is that clear? Everybody. The 14th, civilized edification, new experience. Or maybe all this time you just like to get edification. You don't want to edificate other people. Learn to do edification. Learn to do not cross lining. Learn to don't interfere other people's business. 
Do you want to know one of the secrets to live happy? Don't interfere other people's business. That is the happiest life. When you start to interfere other people's problems, you will never be happy. Don't try to find out other people's problems. Finish your own problems the best way. Next, consultation. Maybe you don't get used to the consultation, am I right? New experience. Okay, 15, what else? Read books. I know you don't like to read books. If you read much, it will open your open perception. Your Especially on networking business. I'm telling you, networking business is something to do with people. No other way. You have to learn about people from where? One of it is books. from books. Learn other people's characters. Learn for different opinions. Learn how to give sympathy and empathy to others. How to learn if your feet get in to other people's shoes. Do you understand what I mean? You feel it. So you don't just look for other people's mistake. Start to learn why is it like that. Clear? Okay, what's the last one? Do it routinely. What is the 17? Duplication. Maybe duplication is a new thing. Okay? Or maybe you never heard about duplication and now you have to do duplication. Get practice for duplication. Routinely, routinely, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Consistent, consistent. It's just a new, new habit. habit, okay? A new habit. I want to ask you now, if you change from the old habit to the new one, and it can be a financial freedom, why not you do it? Yes. Why don't you do it? Am I right? Yes. Why you should keep your egos? Why you should keep? No, I don't want it. Why should be like that? Why don't you cut off? Start from now. I'm a new person. I do something new. New experience. All you learn in this place is a new habit. Remember, where successful people come from? From habit. Once again, what habit that he do? He wants the failed habit. He will do the failed habit. If you want to get success, do the successful habit. As a networker, which one is the habit? What's the success, okay? What? What success is that? Back to the first step, second step, third step, fourth step, five, six, seven, and so on and so on. You do routinely all of those 18 steps. If a new habit can make you from financial struggle to be financial freedom, why not? No. Why not? Why no. not? No. So hard? No. Back to your Mindset. mindset. Want to change your mindset? Yeah. Come to the boot camp. <laughs> it's all there. Everything has the answers. Want to learn about networking? Come to the intensive training. Am I right? Want to understand about networking? Listen this cassette time after time. Yeah. It's true. Listen to it for many times. Watch this CD for many times. Come to training for many times. Just do it. 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 See you at the top. Yes. Yeah.